Hey there, hope you had a great weekend. Nothing too exciting here, but I did enjoy some of the conservative commentary over Friday's Final Jeopardy response. Welcome to the Final Wager. I'm Keith Williams. Not a laughing matter for Sean tonight to really turn on the Jets toward the end of Double Jeopardy, putting this one out of reach of his two challengers, Tom and Beth. Pretty easy calculation for him tonight. If Tom doubles up plus 16.8, so that's a little bit more than 6,000. It's going to be 61.99 for him. Uh, between Beth and Tom, this is also pretty easy. Beth doubles up. She's going to have 9,600. So if I'm Tom, I'm just going to wager 1,200. If I'm right, Beth can do no better than tie me, which is as good as a win if you're leading heading into the final. If I'm wrong with that amount of time, I'm going to have 7,200. So what Beth is going to want to do is wager at least that difference. So that's going to be uh, 30, uh, 2,400, sorry. So 2,401. I'd also consider covering a zero wager by Tom. So that difference is going to be uh, at another, there has to be 3,600. So 3,601, I prefer that. But for some reason, Tom went for everything and cost himself $1,000 in the process. You know, they're just points. There's no... No one's going to think differently of you if you score 20,000 points or if you score 5,000 points. I don't think. But in either event, you're the one taking $2,000 to the bank instead of just $1,000. So, don't really get that, but... Hey. Not my money. Sean, uh... Alex mentioned TOC. Sean, in order to qualify tomorrow, or at least to overtake Michael Bilo, would have to basically double his total right now. He's got 48.3. Michael Bilo had 96,000 after three days. But of course, Michael did have that humongous third game, which was 56 or 57,000, something really, really big. Who knows? Maybe Sean can do that as well. I hope you'll join me then to find out. Thanks for watching The Final Wager.